In this video, we'll create an animated sidebar menu using HTML5 and CSS3. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. In the upper left hand corner, we have the hamburger menu icon. And when we click that, we have our navigation menu sliding off to the right. And then when we click the X, it's going to close for us. So we'll be using these social media icons along with the text next to them. And later in the tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use any icon you want. In the description of this video will be the sidebar menu starter files including HTML and CSS files here if you want to follow along with me as well as the finished version of the tutorial. So I'm going to be using the free program called Sublime Text while we edit uh, index.html and style.css and I'm going to have index.html open with Google Chrome while we're building the animated sidebar menu. Okay, so let's go over to index.html here, and then as you can see, I also have style.css open when we, where we have a Google font to start us off with. And I'm just going to add a little bit of text here to make sure I'm connected to Google Chrome, which I am. Okay, and now we can get started with our first tag. The first thing that we add will be a div ID. So we're going to call this div ID content. And this will act as a wrapper, basically wrapping all of our content for the sidebar menu. Okay, then inside of that, we'll have a span, and we're going to have a class to our span tag that we'll call slide. Then we can close out our span tag. And then inside of that, we'll have the open slide menu button there. So let's go ahead and create that using a link or the a tag. So we'll have ahref. And then I'm just going to do the hashtag here and then on click open capital S slide capital M menu and then open and close parentheses and then you can make some space in between the a tag there and we'll add our icon here using the font awesome plugin here. So if you just go to fontawesome.com or do a Google search for font awesome you can use any icon you want from Font Awesome for all of the icons we're using here in the tutorial. So this one is just FAS and then FA bars. And there we have our Font Awesome icon, which we'll make larger and make it black later in the CSS. So now let's go ahead and add our close button here. Okay, so we'll drop down underneath the span tag and we'll create a div ID and we're going to call this menu and then we'll also give it a class and call it nav and then we can drop down and close out our div and then inside of that just like the link above we'll have an a tag and we'll keep our link blank with the hashtag there and then we'll give this a class called close and then we'll have on click and close side menu or slide menu with a capital S and M rather than open slide menu and then open and close parentheses all right so the icon for this one is going to be i class fas and then space fa dash times and then close out your i tag there for font awesome so there we have our x symbol all right so now let's move on to our actual navigation links here with the social icons and the text next to them. So we'll drop down underneath the link and add a new link here. And this is where you can put in a link to your Facebook, for example, or any uh, URL you want. I'm just going to do the hashtag for now. And then we'll give this a class and call it item. And then inside of our link here, we'll have an I class. And this one is FAB fa dash facebook and then we'll also add an additional class and just call it icon okay and then after the i tag there is closed you can write your text in this case facebook so what i'm going to do to speed up the tutorial a little bit is i'm going to go ahead and just uh, copy our facebook link that we have here and then we'll just change the font awesome icon as well as the text link to the relative social media outlet. So this one is Twitter. And then I'll just change the text here to Twitter. 
And then we have Snapchat. And then we have Instagram. And then the last one is YouTube. Okay, so now if we go ahead and refresh the version we're working on, we should have all of our links set up here. Okay, so here we are. Now, lastly, for our content, let's go ahead and add our heading here where it says HTML5 CSS3 animated sidebar menu. So I'm just going to create a quick note saying that this is the end of our content in case you wanted to add more content to the page here as a reminder here with the div and then I'll just add a heading one and write HTML5 slash CSS3 animated sidebar menu okay so now if we refresh there we have our heading so that's everything for the content for the tutorial let's go up to the script tag here and what we're going to do is add a simple script which will allow it to open and close when we click on the open and close buttons okay so we'll say function open slide menu for our first link there with the hamburger icon okay then open and close parentheses and open and close your swirly brackets here and then document dot get element by ID okay and then in parentheses and a single quote we'll write menu since we'll be opening the div ID menu and then dot style dot width equals in single quote 250 pixels which is the width of the black section we're seeing there that's going to open on the left. Okay, and then don't forget your semicolon. And then once again, we'll write document dot get element by ID, and then we'll reference the content ID here. Okay, and then style dot margin left with a capital L, and then 250 pixels. Okay, so we're going to have that shift over 250 pixels by adding 250 pixels of margin to the left once we click the open slide menu button. So let's go ahead and drop down to the close slide menu button and to speed it up all we have to do is copy this function and then paste it underneath it and we'll just change open to close and then we'll change 250 pixels to zero in both cases. So this will reset our content ID at full width and make it so the menu on the side has zero width. So as you can see here, we have it opening and closing for us and later we'll add some transition, uh, a transition time in our CSS to make it so it has a bit of a nice smooth feel when we open and close it. So let's start off our CSS now with the body tag here and then we'll reference our Google font that we have imported at the top. So we'll say font family Allegria Sans and then our fallback font will be Sans Serif. Okay and then after that what we're going to add will be an overflow tag. So we don't want um, any overflow when our content shifts all the way to the right, or 250 pixels to the right. So we're going to say overflow x hidden so we don't get a scroll feature at the bottom of the screen when the menu shifts and opens. All right? OK. So the next thing that we'll do is let's go to our content ID. And we're going to add some padding. So as you can see, there's a little padding to the top left here. So we'll say hashtag content, since it's an ID rather than a class. And then padding 15 pixels 
all around, or you can just do 15 pixels on the top left. And then we'll say transition margin left. So when the margin on the left is shifting, we'll have a transition of 0.7 seconds to give it kind of a smooth feel when we open up the navigation. And then we'll also say overflow hidden, and we'll give our content a width of 100%. So let's go ahead and check it out. So when we click the burger menu icon here, it's going to shift over to the side nicely for us. And you can add more time if you want there to the transition, but you'll want to match it later when we have the transition for the menu uh, collapsing and closing also. So now let's go to our span class slide um, button. So dot slide A, and we'll give it the color of black and then we'll also say font size 36 pixels so this will make our menu icon here much bigger okay so there we have it the same size as the original and now we can move down to our close button with the X there so to get to that we'll reference our nav class and then the close class here so we'll say dot nav dot close and then position absolute and then top okay and then top we'll have it 8 pixels from the top and 22 pixels from the right okay so now if we refresh it's up here because we didn't style the uh, nav class itself yet and then we'll say margin left 50 pixels and font size 30 pixels a little bit smaller than the open button and then we'll give it a color of CCC which is sort of a light gray color that we're seeing here okay so there we have it displaying basically in the position that we want except for it's not inside the nav so let's go ahead and style our nav class now which we see right here okay so we'll say dot nav and then we'll give it a height of 100 percent and then a position fixed and then we'll say Z index 1 to make sure that it's on top of anything that might be the browser might want to display beneath it top left 0 so there's no margin whatsoever and then the background color will be 111 but we're gonna add some opacity to it to give it the gray feel as well So let's say opacity 0.9. Okay. And then overflow X hidden, similar to the content ID. And then we'll give it a padding on the top of 60 pixels. And then we'll match the transition time with 0.7 seconds for when it closes okay so now it's starting to take its form when we open and close it so let's drop down and start to style our navigation links okay so we'll get to those referencing the nav class and our links with the a tag and then we'll also reference the item class so we'll say dot nav a dot item and then we'll say display flex and flex direction row rather than display block because we're going to have our uh, social icons next to them and we don't want them dropping to the next line. And then we'll also add width zero to our nav class here. 
Okay. And then padding 20 pixels top bottom and 30 pixels left right. And then let's take away the underline with text decoration none. Okay. So next let's give them their color the same as the X with the light uh, gray hex value CCC. And then let's give them the same font size as the X at 30 pixels. Okay. So it's looking pretty good, but we still want to uh, add the border. So we'll say border, bottom, one pixel, solid, and then again CCC. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good, but we want to have it change a little bit when we hover over it to a white color. So let's go ahead and reference the same class here, so a.item, and we'll add colon hover. So we'll just change the color to plain white with the hex value FFF, and then let's have it, uh, let's give it a transition for when we hover over it of five seconds while it's fading to white. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now we'll just make our social icons a little bit bigger and add some space between them and the text. So we'll reference the icon class with .nav.icon. Then let's give them a font size of 35 pixels and then some padding on the right of them. So we'll say padding dash right 10 pixels. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have it. And we can't tell the difference when we go back and forth from the original. So that means that it is complete. Alright, so that does it. I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment below. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.